Ladies and gentlemen of Knucklehead Nation, you know who it is, Chad the Savage. George, how you doing, Chad? I'm doing good. How you doing? Doing good. You know, just here at CMMA, admiring your you know wall of championships and the logo in the background, and uh, it's beautiful. It's looking beautiful. The gym's looking beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Things are going well for you. Um, speaking of which, other stuff going on in the life of Chad. I'm here because I wanted to talk to you about your movie. I had the pleasure of being invited to the screening. I don't know what I owe that, that pleasure to, but I was invited. It was a misinformation and it was a uh, misguided invite. <laughs> the email accidentally went to my, uh, to my email address, but you know, it was great. It was great. Um, this is your second movie, you know, and you really allow people to get you know, into the into the the nitty gritty of what it is to be an MMA fighter. Kind of tell me a little bit about the movie, and you know, give it the plug. Well, uh, the film is Life of a Fighter. The journey in it uh, encompasses the 15 years that I had as a professional athlete, as I transition into the life of a coach, and I'm working with the new school students going through the same sacrifices and the same journey that I went through for, for through my career. And you know, a lot of people only see the glam, they see the, the light, they see the prize. They don't see what it takes to actually get there. They don't see the struggle that goes on. They don't see the aches, the pains. They don't see the, the sacrifices that people go through for so many years to have that one moment of glory. And uh, this film, we really wanted to take you deep inside what it takes for somebody that's been in it a long time, but that still struggles uh, through through body pain and injury and you know trying to guide the, the next generation um, with, with a better uh, direction than I had. Right, right. And for me, it was almost like a, almost a successor to Occupation Fighter, but not necessarily because it's, it's in an entirely different stage of your career, right? Occupation Fighter, you were still kind of coming up, trying to get to the big show. Oh, we got drag racing going on here. You were, you were still coming up, trying to, you know, get into that big show. Um, this one is more about you leaving the game. Yeah, I think that was, that was that's the kind of that's the, that's the beautiful thing about these two films. The first one was showing the truth about what it takes to to try to make it. Yeah. And this one is the exact opposite side of it, showing the truth of what it takes to dedicate your life to this. Yeah. And it's not always just oh he did it for money, he did it for fame. It literally is. It was for the discovery of of who these athletes become in the process and that's what this film is and this is me handing off my legacy to the next generation and to those that are going through the same thing so this this film really is a continuation of occupation fighter but more of a, a an end to a, uh, a story but the next chapter of the journey yeah yeah I really enjoyed it. It was it was really good, especially the fact that there was some fighters rep stuff going on in there. I love that. <laughs> but uh, what, you know, another thing I wanted to ask you, Chad, is you know you put a lot of uh, energy into you know not just fighting and coaching and stuff like that, but into getting your name out there and into getting the sport out there, right? Uh, this is you know as as weird as as it sounds and as odd as it sounds, I feel like there's nothing else like this you know, in the industry, right? I mean, you have, you know, you have videos like embedded, you know, they follow the fighters around before their fights. You've had a couple movies get made about boxing, you know, Rocky and, and you know, a couple MMA movies, but nothing that really like follows, you know, uh, the journey of a fighter. You know, wh why is it that you think, you know, you're kind of the only one that, that you know, thought of doing this? You know, I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm sure there's other ones that are out there. Yeah. Um, you know, for me, it was just, I, I wanted my story to be out there because yeah. I, I know that I connect to so many people and they connect with me. And I've seen over the years that sharing your journey with other people helps them with theirs. And that's what this is about. This film is not about me. Yes, it's my story, but it's really hoping to show other people that they have a story too. And that's all it is. The more we share, the more it shows other people that they can do it too. And I kind of really, I mean, I, I think, especially as someone nearing the age of 40, you know, uh, like yourself, I, I really appreciated the aches and pains part that you were talking about. You know, I, I think to myself sometimes, man, how do these guys get through this? 
it really shows in this movie all the stuff you had to go through to get through well, this Well, I fight. mean, getting out of bed is, is not easy. You know, a lot of the days I forget that I'm, you know, I'm 40 years old, just about to be 40 years old. And the, the mindset that I have still is still connected to the 25-year-old me that can push through that stuff. Right. And right. it's just different now. You know, as you get older, it's harder to get up in the morning. It's harder to do those things. And I will push through it, but I also know there's going to be repercussions for pushing through it. And that's why we wanted to show in this film that this is the reality. And as you get older, your body is going to go through things. But if you truly want to do something, you will do what it takes to make it happen. You're either going to find a reason why you can or you're going to find a reason why you can't. Whichever one is, is a stronger way. I found it to be incredible. I think it's, I think it's a must-watch for guys that are not just starting, but you know, even thinking about getting into the fight game. I think this is a must watch Appreciate so it. people can kind of see the entire journey. Where can people watch this chat? So you can own it on Fight TV and Voodoo and then you could also watch it for free on the Tubi app. So it's Life of a Fighter, The Journey. Go watch it, tell your friends, share it. And I'd love to hear your feedback. Hit me up on social media. I would love to hear how uh, it impacted your life. Or even if you hated it, like, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And we're going to drop that link below so people Perfect. can can check it out. Um, Chad, also, I got to briefly touch on this, you know, because I haven't made a video since Fighters Rep. We've been putting up the, the fights, you know. Uh, this is kind of the first one I make since then. Your team was there. You had a couple guys on the card. I thought they were great performances, especially from Sammy uh, Caceres. You know, a lot of people know you as a grappling gym, as an MMA gym, but, you know, you're showing the world you've got some great strikers. What were your kind of your thoughts on your fighters' performances at Fighters Rep? I'm always happy with my guys. I mean, we, we train hard. It's not where we, we're known for our grappling, but we put just as much work and just as much emphasis on our striking as well. So that way it's always, you know, people see our guys, oh, they're just a grappler. Then they get, then they get really surprised and like, wow, I didn't expect that. And that's what we want. You know, we, we are a well-rounded mixed martial arts gym. We're not a grappling school. We're not just a jiu-jitsu school. Yes, I am an advocate of jiu-jitsu. I, I, I have a passion for it. Right. But fighting is my, my true passion. And it's, it's all those things connected. So watching Sammy go out and perform, I think he's 4-0 now. He's 4-0. 4-0 man. as a kickboxer. You know, he came in as an MMA guy. Um, and then Julio, uh, he went out there and fought his first fight in eight years, fought a very tough opponent, lost by decision. But, yeah. you know, he fought well. He's still way overweight. But he went out and performed. And, you know, that's all I can ever ask for my guys. I, don't, I, I really don't care if they win or lose. Right. I would like them to win. But my, my concern is, did they do what was needed in the process? And the result is going to speak for themselves. Well, you know, I love having you on. I've always been telling you, you know, I, I get excited knowing that your guys are getting on and you're kind of building a complete gym, you know, mixed martial arts, kickboxing, MMA, everything else. Uh, you mentioned you love fighting. You've closed the door now with this movie on MMA, but you're still competing. You know, what's going on as far as competition? With I, you know, I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll probably compete in jiu-jitsu to yeah. the day that I yeah. die. Uh, right now, I'm so busy with my guys. I mean, we have events every single weekend. I'm traveling now. I've got guys. Now Now the guys are getting the bigger shows, so it's traveling me from you know different states uh, out of the country. So I don't know. I will still keep competing. I don't know when I'm going to compete next. Uh, my body is definitely not my friend. And it's also because, <laughs> let's be honest, I'm not taking care of it the way I should be either. Right, uh, right. With all the traveling, I'm eating like garbage. I've got you know my, my son, who's now 16 months old. Uh, these guys are keeping me busy. So I'm not really able to train the way that I need to train. Yeah, I'm not yeah. eating the way I need to tra eat. And I'm not taking care of the body. So competing is still always going to be there. I just don't win. One more thing, Chad. Uh, recently, your guy uh, won an LFA title. Bruno Souza, man. Congrats Thank on that. You. How Thank do you, you feel about that? Just give me awesome. your thoughts. Awesome. You know, uh, Bruno, was, was, he earned it. Yeah. You know, he's got 10 fights in a row. Uh, he's beaten the number one guys that they have uh, thrown at him. And, you know, he's, he's earned his spot. He's undeniable. He should be in the UFC next. Yeah. You know, we beat one of their best guys back to back to back. In fact, the two guys that we were originally supposed to fight for this uh, title pulled out because they got pulled up to the Contender Series. Another guy that we beat earlier in his LFA um, run is in the UFC now. So, you know, I think that's a pretty clear um, statement that he, he belongs there. Right, right. Chad, I appreciate your time, man. Let him know where they can follow you. And uh, again, I'll drop the link to the movie below. But let them know where they can follow you in the life of, of the Savage. Uh, well, you follow my Instagram, Chad Savage George, and then you can follow the film, 
uh, Life of Fighter, the journey again is on Fight TV, Tubi, and Voodoo. Drop some love, leave some feedback. Love to hear from you guys. Appreciate you, Chad. Thank you, bro.